Hello friends, do you know about the different open doors of destiny? Have you been able to identify them from scriptures? And when they are opened before you by the Lord, do you know how to take advantage of them? My name is Joseph Bin Barkinjoko and you are welcome to the Light of Life. The first door you have to be aware of is the door of diligence. This is the door that opens only as a result of your hard work and commitment to the work that you are doing. The Bible says that sees thou a man that is diligent in his business, he will stand before kings. This door does not open because we pray. It is because we work and work very hard. This can easily be remembered when you look at the least kind of doors that we have in our houses. It requires effort. You have to lay hand on them and turn on the knob before it opens. This is the door of diligence. There's another kind of door, which is the door of wisdom. This door does not respond to how hard you work or how much effort you make. It responds to the wisdom that you have acquired over time. This is why the door can open for a man that is educated either spiritually or even mentally. And the one who has not acquired the right kind of education is unable to access that kind of door. This is why the Bible tells us that wisdom is the principal thing. And in all our gettings, we are required to get wisdom. You can remember this by looking at the coded doors. Doors that do not open because you turn a knob, but because you punch in the right kind Quotes. This is the door of wisdom. The third kind of door is the door of availability. Some doors open not because we work hard, not because we know the right words to say, not because we have acquired the right kind of wisdom, but because we show up. To remember this, you look at the kind of doors that open in some hotels and in the airport. When you approach them, they only open because you show up. This is how life is. If you remember, when the angel appeared unto the centurion and told him to send messengers unto Peter, Peter did not see any vision about the people coming until they were very close to where he was. Because the Bible says that immediately he finished seeing the vision, he went downstairs and the men were waiting for him. If the men had not made the move or if the centurion had not sent people out to go and look for Peter, God would not have shown the vision to Peter. If you also remember, a day before Samuel had an encounter with Saul, God told him that by this time tomorrow, he would see a man and that he should anoint the man as king. Saul had left the house three days earlier looking for the ass or the donkey of his father. It was while he was on the journey that God gave the vision unto Samuel. So some doors would not open until we begin the journey that God tells us to embark upon. This is the door of appearing or availability. The fourth is the door of the appointed season. It does not matter whether you show up, you work hard or acquire the right wisdom. When the time appointed has not yet come, these doors of destiny will not open. No matter how hard Israel prayed, God had determined that they were not going to be released from captivity for 70 years. The Bible says in Psalm 102 verse 13 that thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the appointed time has come. Some doors only open when we come into the season that God has appointed. So it is not about how hard we work or the efforts we make or the wisdom we acquire, the connections we have. It is always because of the season that God has appointed. This is why the Bible tells us not to be weary of well-doing, for in due season we will reap the reward if we faint not. This door always opens for those who wait upon God. The last door is the door of grace. This door opens not as a result of any effort we make, not as a result of us waiting up until a particular time, but it only opens by divine determination. It is God that decides how this happens. It is only God that determines to who or for who it opens because it has nothing to do with the effort of man. It only has to do with the grace of God. 
Many are called, but few are chosen. This is the door of grace. I urge you today to ponder on all of these doors. The door of diligence, the door of wisdom, the door of appearance or availability, the door of the appointed season, and the door of grace. At different times in our lives, God will be opening these doors. It's our sensitivity and our ability to seize the moment that determines whether we're going to enjoy the benefits that comes to these doors or not. I urge you to ponder on these things. And as you do so, it is my prayer that when these doors open before you, you will not miss out in the name of Jesus. God bless you and have a fruitful season in the name of Jesus.